This video is brought to you by Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. <laughs> Hey, my name is Javi, and Happy New Year! And to bring it in, I'm looking at the top 10 figures that I reviewed in 2022. I know I said I was gonna die for a few weeks, and admittedly, I do sound kind of sick. But I just got some ideas and got some sponsors to plug. Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. Experience Japan from the comfort of your home with Tokyo Treat, a monthly Japanese subscription box with up to 20 of the latest exclusive and seasonal Japanese candy and snacks. And Sakura Co. is also a monthly Japanese subscription box, but with 20 authentic artisan Japanese snacks and teas from Japan's local snack makers. Continuing to share Japanese culture and traditions that have been passed down for over a hundred years. Plus one special Japanese tableware every month. Both are delivered straight from Japan to your door, and both boxes have a different theme every month. These are the January boxes. Tokyo Treat's theme is Snack in New Year's. Experience the excitement of the New Year's celebration in Japan with Kit Kat Cat Strawberry Chocolate Cake, Fanta Premium Pear, and even Spy Family Anya Candy. Look at that, a show that I actually watch. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> Con. Wrong show. Mmm, wak wak. Yeah. And Sakura Co's theme for this month is New Year in... Which is a Japanese prefecture renowned for its high quality rice products like mochi and sake. In collaboration with mm. this specially designed box contains mm. specialty snacks like Echigo Hime Strawberry Crit and mm. Konyak Yokan. That shrimp cracker sounding pretty good though. And all snacks pair well with the included special Genmai Hojicha tea. Or if you want something a little stronger to drink, this month's kitchenware is a Sakura Co exclusive sake cup. Why not celebrate the year of the rabbit with a nice Nice soothing shot. If only lowering my alcohol intake wasn't one of my New Year's resolutions. I have a problem. Come by. And if you're confused as to what any of this stuff is, I'm confused as to what I'm doing right now. There's a booklet explaining every snack included in both boxes. Also, both of them have a lot of information on Japanese culture, which you have the chance of experiencing in person. Sakura Co. is running a free Ticket to Japan giveaway that ends at the end of this month. So check the links in the description and use my code JABI to get $5 off your first Tokyo Treat order and $5 off your first Sakura Co. order with the chance to experience Japan IRL. Same code for both links. Now that I've actually gotten paid for my work, the list. All the reviews in the description, by the way, but that wouldn't mean spoiling the list, so check it later. But before the list proper, here's some honorable mentions. In no particular order. Hammond Collection T-Rex, <laughs> SH Mothra's Godzilla Ultima, both third-party Gundams. And on that note, watch my new Gundam review. Even made a new song and everything. <laughs> And if you haven't watched it, never ask for a Gundam review ever again. So without further ado, I think my stuffy nose is gonna make it easier to do this voice. <clears throat> Number 10. The Lego Optimus Prime. While the completed model isn't the best compared to all the other figures I've taken a look at, it was such a fun build that it made it all worth it. And it's not like the completed model was horrible, really fun, and featured a completely parts forming free transformation. 99% parts forming free. Number 9. The Unique Toys Nero. Unique Toys worked their third party witchcraft once again with this figure that featured a brilliant transformation while maintaining a screen accurate robot mode and vehicle mode. But as much as I love the transformation, the feel of the figure, the posability, it doesn't change the fact that the fundamental design absolutely sucks. And it's not really Unique Toys' fault, not their fault that they're Michael Bay fans. Actually, it is completely their fault. Fuck off. Number 8. The Haya Toys, Hia Toys, Godzilla. I had to get one Godzilla figure on here or else I wouldn't have heard the end of it. And because I actually really like this figure, the beautiful love child of S.A. Monster Arts and NECA featuring a highly detailed paint sculpt and a decent range of articulation. Not without its minor issues, but you can't beat that price. Make me want to beat my knee. Number 7. This one wasn't one of your favorite reviews, seeing as it's an original property, but the Archcore Frostlight was one of my favorite figures of the year. 
here. This truly was a pleasant surprise. A better Transformer figure than some Transformers figures, third party or otherwise. Might take a look at its full combination mode, since I already got the pieces. Just need to know if there's interest. Number six. How the hell does he keep that up? You guys probably expected this one to be on here. The Magic Square Light of Peace. Best G1 Optimus Prime figure that I own, but the reason it's not on my top five was the lack of weight. Spending more time with this guy made me realize how important I think diecast metal is, but the price is pretty good, the posability is excellent, the transformation isn't a headache, so it just barely scraped the balls of my top five list. Speaking of which, number five, the Magnificent NECA MM01, a borderline perfect representation of the best live action Optimus Prime design, which they changed for some reason, what the f Come. This figure is great. Transformation was a bit complex, but not mind numbing, and both modes look great. So until the Toy Lab Dark Knight comes out, it will never come out. This is the best live action Bumblebee Optimus Prime toy ever. Get that non transforming shit out of here. Number four. This one doubles as one of my favorite reviews of the year The Trans Art Trans Metal Megatron. An excellent upgrade from the original toy that just tickles my nostalgia in the best way. Both modes are fantastic, but if it weren't for that huge chunk of parts forming, it would have been perfect. And not to tickle my own butthole, a great Jobby video. Watch it if you haven't. David K is waiting. Jobby the Hulk, you absolute homunculus. And now for my top three, which, spoilers, are the only three five out of fives that I gave throughout the year. The question is, what order should they be in? This was harder than I thought. Number three, the Monocrat Mega Tank. Just a solid figure all around. Perfect robot mode, perfect transformation, and a perfect tank mode. This is a strange one because I wouldn't say this is a mind-blowingly good figure, but it's one that I have absolutely nothing to complain about. So the only logical answer is a 5 out of 5. Love this thing. But what I loved even more than that... Number 2! The Robot Paradise Acoustic Wave. Holy moly, I was not expecting to like this figure that much. You know how much of a stickler I can be when it comes to the back of figures. But in person, it works incredibly well. And it is definitely the best G1 Soundwave figure that we've gotten to date. Takara's gonna have a lot on their plate if they want to top this. Even if you don't get the separately sewed Cassetticons, the figure by itself is well worth the money. That's one of the biggest compliments I could give the figure. It didn't make me regret my purchase. So good that I had to sing in the video. Check it out if you haven't. I'm Number one! What figure could I possibly like more than Acoustic Wave? How about one that has the perfect blend of originality, engineering, design, and the most important of all, value. Also a nostalgia bias, admittedly. The Degenerator Industry Metal Slug. While I'm a huge fan of transforming toys, I have to admit that most of my figures are stuck in robot mode. Because after transforming it about one, two, ten times, you know, for fun, there's not much of a reason to keep your transformers in alternate mode. Except for this guy. The tank mode is just as good, if not better, than the original robot mode. But that's not to say that the robot mode is bad. It's also excellent. Not to mention the build quality of the thing, the transformation not being that much of a headache. And goddamn, all of that for that price. How could it not be my number one figure of the year? You might disagree with this list, but I don't care. So thanks for your continued support. Thanks for over 500,000 subscribers. So just take my Gundam video and this one as my 500,000 subscriber special. Shut up. I look forward to more reviews throughout the year. Got some good stuff in the works, including one that I was going to review last year until I broke my face. Don't drink and run. Happy New Year! G-U-N to the D-A-M Coast The co-host that you love the most Hit us of a roast from coast to coast The sidekick you need, but I ain't got a boast There's no